Okay, so here we have two of the three new devices from Nokia. We have uh, the Nokia X and then the Nokia XL. There is another device, the Nokia Plus, uh, which I don't have with me at the moment, but it's very, it looks the same as the Nokia X. The difference between the Nokia X and the Nokia X Plus is the X has 512 megabytes of RAM, whereas the X Plus has 768 megabytes of RAM. The X Plus also comes with a full gigabyte storage card. All devices store up to 32 gigabytes of storage card. The XL has a 5 inch screen as opposed to a 4 inch screen with the X and it also has a 5 megapixel rear facing camera and flash and a 2 megapixel front facing camera for, for those Skype calls. All devices have a 1 gigahertz dual core Snapdragon processor. If you look at the uh, if you look at the screen, you can see that it's a, a very slick screen. Now, onto the software. So it runs the Nokia X software platform, which is based on AOSP, Android Open Source Platform. And it allows you to run Android apps. So we have the Nokia Store, which has access to thousands of apps in the Nokia Store. If you can't find an app in the Nokia store, then you can go to one of the many third-party stores that we have available, so One Mobile, AppToys, uh, etc. Google Play is not one of them? Google Play is not one of those stores, no. But you will have access to hundreds of thousands of apps via any of these stores. You'll also see that we have a number of Microsoft services, so we have Skype, and further down we have Outlook, and OneDrive as well. So I uh, understand just now you are uh, doing a keynote, some of Google services are replaced by Nokia services? That's correct, yes. Wow. There are three, there are three uh, Google services that we're replacing. So um, Nokia in-app purchase, um, we have Peer Maps, and then there's Nokia notifications. So these replace the Google services. Um, Nokia uh, in-app purchase, we find is uh, is very uh, widely used. Um, it's available in 50 countries, and we have deals with 160 operators. So the benefits for the developers there. We also have mixed radio, so free streaming radio from uh, from, from our friends at mixed radio as well. So how do you personalize the interface? Okay, so you can move the icons around and delete them. Change the size of the icons. We also have what we call our fast lane. So this is the way to easily access any apps or uh, events. So I can see here that I've got my store, Facebook Maps, uh, email, and then I just have to touch the item and it will take me to my email. Okay. And you can store up to 50 items there. So it's a really, really good way of accessing. So is it something like a multitasking menu? Yeah. So how, how do the user quit the app? Have they quit the app? Yeah, close the app, for example. So you just go back. It's a long press on the back button. Long press on this. Yeah. So if I'm in, it's this, uh, go to here, maps.